Had to put in overtime for what I got If you know me, you know I'm solid as a rock All this weight all on my shoulders, thank God I can squat Family counting on me, let them down, man, I cannot Time is money, so I gotta work around the clock I can't wait for the day my haters look at me and dance Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Always Climbing Project um, This is your boy Joe, Bryce, and our special guest, Zaya West, who just facilitated an excellent event called Limitless Dreams. We're going to jump into that. Um, this is going to be a little different. Uh, we usually have a, a, a signature uh, climber of the week, but the climber of the week for this week is everyone who was involved in this uh, this clip, as you'll see in these uh, pictures. Uh, it was a great event, um, but I want to really just jump into it um, and get to, Zai, what made you uh, decide to start this event and what was the, the process, of, not the process, but the um, history of the origin of this event is what I'm trying to ask. Um. Well, I remember when I joined AC, the first, like the first couple meetings, they asked us like, how do we want to, what is a project we want to have to change the city or like bring the city together? So me, I've always grown up with, I have three siblings with disabilities varying from, um, autism to my little sister has a rare kidney disease to my older brother having um, Tourette's. So I knew as soon as that question popped up, like this is what I was supposed to do. Um, and then after that, it was really just making my dream into reality and working with Bryce and him helping me out, trying to fit, figure out, well, how do we make this, um, what's the right word? work i don't know i don't know what's the right word but how do we make this go together and so from there on out we have limitless dreams now yeah and then and then bryce i know we this is something that we talked about in depth uh behind the scenes of course of wanting to have a leader someone um lead an event like this uh what made you decide to choose zaya as the person to lead this uh adventure and um yeah just what why did you choose zaya uh, to be the leader of this event, uh, man, I would say, man, I I don't even think it was a a, a choice of mine. Uh, I think it was almost like I had no option. Uh, not to say that it wasn't a great idea; it was a phenomenal idea, and that's why I really didn't have an option. Uh, honestly, man, like you know, we're real grassroots, you know, with our upbringing uh, of the Always Climbing Project as a whole. So a lot of times, man, a lot of this new stuff is just trial and error, right? So. We have all these grand ideas. And, you know, one thing that stuck to me, man, from the VIP meeting, uh, for those that don't know, you know, we are VIP grantees from the city of Akron, ARPA dollars. And uh, one thing that stuck with me, man, was when we did our presentation, I don't think she meant it in a rude or disrespectful way. And I didn't take it that way either. But I took it uh, as a challenge because one thing that uh, one of the ladies said was this seems ambitious. And for some reason... Like I said, I'm not taking it as disrespect, but it's, I just I was like, are we being too ambitious? Like, can we actually do all of this? Like we were like, oh, we want to do leadership development. We want to take them on field trips. We want them to create their own project. We want them also to mentor other kids. Oh, and by the way, we want to do this, this, this. So they were like, it, we we love it. Y'all young. Um, This seems ambitious. I was like. I accept. Right. Like, I accept the challenge. It seemed like almost like. She wanted us to win and is hoping that we won. Uh, not the grant, but I'm just saying it in, with this whole project, but almost like it was going to be very hard to do. Uh, so fast forward, man, you know, this is uh, first time we're doing all of this stuff. So, you know, I didn't even think to allow everybody to vote on the project. I was just like, I think everybody likes Zaya's idea. I love Zaya's idea. Though he's just gonna go with Zaya's idea. And she was the one that was persistent enough to keep asking me, uh, versus other people um, you know, who had great ideas and, you know, whether it was the pressure I put on them or just the time fading, uh, they did weren't as persistent as Zaya was. So we had I mean, we got some other ideas and, and stuff. So we'll have a pool of ac activities and events that we could host from these wonderful children. I guess I should call y'all teens, but, uh, <laughs> but regardless her, her reason why 
And that's that's a lesson in life, man. Your your passion and your why will own that's that's what'll drive you as far as you can go, right? The Green Lantern ring. Remember I told you about that, Joe? Like that's my method, man. Like the yeah. Green Lantern is only as powerful as his ring. And his I mean, as, as his his ring is only as powerful as his imagination and his passion and his purpose. So if you have a strong purpose and a strong why, you'll go that much farther. You can make that much more. If it's very low and limited, then you got the same exact ring on, but you can only make so much. So Zaya's Green Lantern ring uh, was fueled by a lot of passion, a lot of creativity and a true sense of understanding of why she wanted to do it so that's why that's why i picked her but moving forward yeah. i think just to be uh fair and ethical we need to do a better voting system but you know the way she presented i think she would have won regardless yeah and we have a bunch of climbers with a bunch of great ideas and that's why i think this episode is going to be so good so we can learn from an, a, a a proper like we executed this plan so well y'all ex- executed this uh event so well um and it turned out very well, um, but I'm excited to see what the next one's going to look like. But can you give uh, some insight, both of you, the 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 making of this event, uh, the channels of communication, and then we got a bunch of partners. Like, what did that look like in that communication and the persistence to try to keep getting that yes? So I'll go for first. the support that first. we needed for those resources. So working under Everett Glenn, Mr. Glenn in Long Beach, California, uh, for that week that I went down there was amazing for me. I don't know if I would have been able to help Zaya the way that I helped Zaya uh, plan this event if I didn't have that experience. And that's why it's important to have mentors, right? We tell the kids all the time, like, I know you, you're you shy about having a mentor, but it's so, so powerful to have a mentor. And uh, me having that mentor really showed me how to plan a huge event. So he had over 300 people at this event, and I was a part of every step during that week. And I understood how he was communicating with people, how he was communicating with his partners. I saw the list of partners that he contacted. I'm like, bro, this dude is major. So instantly I'm like, I grew a sense of confidence that I would be able to help the next leader playing that. But the crazy part, Zaya, and you knew this, Zaya, but the crazy part to all the listeners and viewers, like I've never actually planned an event. I've just been a part of other events, right? Uh, so funny enough, like I know how to do it, but I should, I was doing it first for my first time as well. But uh, I let Zaya kind of speak through her emotions and stuff, but just from her leader's perspective, and her, her mentor uh, for this event's perspective, uh, I saw a lot of passion and a lot of excitement from Zaya, uh, even on the times and days that she was busy, but it was almost to a fault sometimes because shoot like we don't even got a permit yet she's like we need to start co- contacting these partners i'm like hold on now. there's a process <laughs> right. to this right there's a process <laughs> to this and that's where we step in right uh what i told a lot of people at the event they complimented you a lot zaya um but what i told them was my big role was uh to ignite your dream but also keep the fire once it's ignited keep it going without any what's the word extinguishers in, in sight. So uh what's an example? Um uh multiple schools for the first event. Yeah, yeah. Your yeah, fire, yeah. your fire that was lit up would have been completely fluttered out but probably within the first hour. Uh yeah. so Zaya Zaya want her big dream and still is is to incorporate all of Akron Public Schools athletics, not just Firestone. Um, and I told her not that she took it. She didn't like the way I was communicating. I was just being direct. It's not a bad idea. It's just not the time right now. Let's, let's start small. Mm -hmm. But even, remember I told you this, I even starting small is huge, right? Like it was a huge event. It was amazing. But even starting small in the grand scheme is a large, large step ahead. Like you're 16 years old and you hosted a whole event. You ran an entire event. You planned the event. You made phone calls to partners. Uh, and if it was something that was out of place for you, I handled it, like ordering things, making payments. That was the stuff I was doing. Everything else you were doing. So talk to me about your emotions. Let's go all the way back to like March, April, right? Uh, and then we took a little pause and we got back activated in the summer. Talk about your whole expression of, of and, and emotions. Um. Yeah, it was it was definitely a lot. Like, it's funny people keep saying like I'm 16, and to me it don't really feel like it. Like 
I don't know if it's just because everybody called me an old soul or where I'm at, like in my mindset. Like, I don't know. It's just when people say I'm 16 planets, I'm like, man, that, that ain't nothing. You no, know, it, it is. It, it is, is a big deal. It is it's a big deal. Yeah, you're way farther that, ahead than we were. I'll tell you that much. You said what? You at 16, you farther ahead than we were. That's a fact. <laughs> we was, I mean, yeah. we would have, we would have came to your event like AC folks did, like the kids we did, but planning it, yeah. man, we would have even known where to start. No, I remember yeah. the funny at the event. I'm gonna deviate real quick. The funniest thing at the event, I came up to uh, a mom, and I was like, "Hi, my name is Iwes. I'm the founder of Limitless Dream." She's like, "You are." She was like, "You're a kid." I said, "I know." Yep, yep. <laughs> and that's and that, that's that's that 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 makes us feel good, right? Like, um, another thing that makes me personally feel good is there was no picture of AC staff in the Beacon, right? Like, that's, I'm telling you, I can't stress it enough. Our goal is so when you search Always Climate Project, we are no longer the face of it. We're not on it no more. We we might be on the about. Cause we, we founded it, but I don't want that. I don't, I just don't. I want y'all to be on it. Like I'm trying to spread this out as much as I possibly can. As much as I want myself on it or you on it. I don't want you on it. Like I told you that the other day, nothing against you. I don't want you on it for a little bit. Let's get somebody else. Like let's spread the love. Um, Cause everybody can eat, right? Everybody can eat. And I think in different <sighs> I'm not going to say Akron does this, <laughs> but there's a lot of cities and communities. I'll leave it at that. There's a lot of cities and communities where everybody can't eat. Like, I can't see you eat without me getting a little piece. And I hate that. It makes me cringe. It makes me cringe. Like, I'll see somebody post something and their picture or face isn't in it. And they just like, oh, this, it was. I'm so happy that I was able to plan this and host this. Like, you're never going to see me say that. Like, you're never going to see me say, and it's not that. It's not that I don't appreciate the the credit, like people have con- congratulating me or giving me uh, praise for you know leading you through this, but I don't, I just don't need it. Like the job is done, thank you, but it's all about her, right? And that's that's where you want to be in life, because a lot of people they can't help you unless they get some type of something out of it. Um, and I don't like that to be honest. Like I really, I feel like it's too competitive. I feel like everybody can't eat. Like, dang, I ain't get no picture. I was there too. Y'all can't even give me a thanks. It's a lot of that. Not just in Akron. It's, it's everywhere. And what I learned in Long Beach, again, with my experience with Boss, was everybody can eat. I met I met somebody that I forget what their company's called. Their program is almost exactly like Boss. And this dude helped Mr. Glenn the whole week. He participated in all the events. He, I think he even helped fund some of the events. And his logo was just there as a partner. He didn't get any credit at all, but he was happy to see the kids succeed. He was happy to see the event become successful. And he was telling me, he was like, yeah, Ever and I, like, we do the exact same thing for our community, but it's not about us and our name. It's about the the, the label as a whole and our city as a whole. And that just changed my perspective because, to be honest, I was being a little bit competitive with AC. I'm like, bro, we the best. We could be the best. Like, let's beat out this yeah. company, this this nonprofit. Forget that. Let's just win. Like, I don't yeah. even want to be seen. Let let Zaya West is the winner, right? And yeah. we we need more of that. So, as uh, Zaya, I'm curious before Jovan asks his next question. As uh, yeah. you went through that process, being so so young, whether you want to admit it or not, it's incredible. Uh. What were your feelings towards me now that it's all over? Like, because I was on your neck, because you got to be, right? You got to be. Job got to yep. get done. And you talking about, oh, I, it's the summer too. No homework. Here goes I. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll get it done next week. Where was all the energy you just told me during school time when, when it was a fresh idea? We need to get started. Now we need to get started as I installed. So tell me what you were thinking and how much pressure did I give you? Did I give you too much, too little? Talk to me, because this is my first time doing this as a mentor as well. Um, with all of it, like planning an event, yeah, stressful. Did I think it would be as stressful as it could have been? No, but I also think that's because I knew you were there to help me if I ever got stressed out. So I never really got to that panic point. Um, when it first started, 
it was a little frustrating, not even just on your end, but like I remember we had that meeting with the lady who was talking uh the lady who was giving us our building permit and she started switching everything around and after the meeting like why'd you get nervous? I was like, because I thought, you know, everybody was changing changing my thought process, but this event showed me how that I can lean on people because I wasn't really used to that. Like yeah. me, I'm that I got it. I'll do it myself. Blah blah blah. blah. And I'm very, t- I'm very tunnel vision. Like this is my way. This is gonna be blah blah blah. And I'm like, now I knew if I need, if I had a question, I could ask Bryce or I could ask ryan or someone you know even my parents i I got a lot of my ideas from my parents um and then just talking them out with brian seeing if this was good or not you know being able to hear the word no and actually just being like it's not a no but a not yet so like it's not a no that we ain't gonna bring aps sports into this other schools but just not yet because that was that was definitely a lot um as well as like when we did first thought i was like Oh yeah, I'll do it next week. Cause you know, the summer I'm trying to chill, you know, <laughs> school just got out. I just got done with sports. Like I'm done. And then what was I doing? It was I right before. Did. One time, one time, one time I was like, sorry, just chill out. I That's what I said. I didn't say it to you, but I, anytime you say somebody's name, you know, a series, she was like, yeah. we need to get, we need to get this going, Bryce. I said, you know, I'm reading the text. I'm reading her tone through the text. Christ, <laughs> why are you saying my name? Oh, God. I, remember, I remember you calling me about that. Yeah, I'm like, man, I didn't need to chill. It's, it's May. She talking about oh, all this yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, this is my first time doing this, Zaya. This is my first time doing this. This is my first time running an event that large. But not only that, this is my first time mentoring somebody else to do it when I ain't never did it. I can't believe she just said, Bryce. I'm Bryce. she run the house. <laughs> but I, I get it, though, Zara. I do. Um, I think I deal with that, even just being the, the executive director of this program and this project as a whole. Uh, having that trust to depend on somebody else is tough. Uh, yeah. I, I don't like giving up any, just about anything. I'd rather do the job for you. I mean, shoot, even even budget stuff like I leave it to Giovanna Kamara, but I got I need my eyes at least or, least, or hands in it at least. I just yeah. can't I, I can't give you all my full trust and and I should. Right. You know, you should. But I just, I, I struggle with that. You know, having that leadership role uh, is something that I'm struggling yeah. with as well. It's hard, like for real, like yeah. mm-hmm. to, to, to trust to trust anybody, even even my freaking brother, Jovan, like to go get some pieces. I'm like, did he eat the receipt? You sure you got the yeah. receipt? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, man, we gotta we gotta have that trust, right? And I do. Yeah. I really trust y'all uh most of the time. And, but it's hard you know, though. It's hard. And that's a part of leadership. Like if anything goes wrong with this event or anything happened at the event, Zai, like that falls all on you. Like your name is gonna be on all that. And so I remember uh coming to the event and you're like running around with your head cut off. And I'm like, Zai, you good? She's like, No, but we gonna be. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, all right, all right. Like you got everything no, set up, no. y'all here. So, you know, so I guess we can just, just direct me, and, you know, what exactly what you need. But I, another question I have before uh, Bryce go, I'm sorry. Um, is there anything? It, it, say you're not running limitless uh, dreams, uh, but but someone else is. What in retrospect do you feel like you needed more of involvement from AC or different type of resources of support? What do you feel like that next person would need to run an event of this magnitude from the support that you got? Um, for me, I would say more adults in this situation. My committee was full of kids and Bryce. Mm-hmm. I need it, and I'm, I'm planning this for next year. More adults because at the end of the day, we still are kids, and nobody like my friends. When we were talking, made to a, 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 a planning committee oh, of 40 kids. <laughs> 40. You see, another one you texted me, you said, Yo, it was like, I was, in, I, I was in the group chat and I'm like, Okay, it's it's, it's six right now. It's a little and saturated. Add it, add it, add it, add it. I said, Yo, <laughs> no, I didn't know. Like, see, of like, course. it was a learning curve. curve. When he said, Get a group chat, you know. <laughs> 
My thing is like a group chat. You know, a big thing where everybody talking Girl, like, I ain't say get no group chat. I said make no, a planning committee. A committee. Said, I'm a group and you chat. Said, I said, you said, okay. You said, I'm going to take group me to iPhone. That's all you did. <laughs> it was like, all right. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. And then he was like, man, but see, the thing is, you know, being, learning how to be a little bit more humble and less stubborn was like, he was like, no, here's how you do it. And then he taught me how to do it. So I was like, oh, did I feel a little dumb? A little bit. I was like, oh, my bad. But, you know. Mm. But here's Bryce the thing, never, though, Zai. We had those moments. Bryce was never like, oh, that's like, no. Nah. He was just like, I understand. You didn't know. And here's how I'm going to teach you. So here's, he, here's the thing. I just made the same mistake when we started AC. We had <laughs> board meetings every week. We just having board meetings every week. First of all, you ain't supposed to do that. But yeah. when we had those board meetings, I promised the them every squad. week. I promised them in the group chat. We had like 12 people in these calls. I promised them every week. We not going over an hour like we always do. It's going to be a quick 25 minute meeting. But what would happen? I, we would start the meeting. I would say, y'all. So, you know, we did this, this, and this. This is what's coming up. Oh, I think it should be like this. I think yeah. it should be like this. No, nah, bro, it should be like this. I'm like, hey, like everybody That's got an opinion. Man. So then before yep. you know it, we wasted a whole hour and a half. Nothing got done. On, on one item. And we, we still didn't get, make the decision. And we still got four more items to talk about. So we be like, all right, let's touch base next week. So I had to, I had to take that harsh, like you had to do. You did it in a nice way. I had to tell my best friends, y'all, love y'all, but we're going to go ahead and condense the board to four to five people they like some people took it offensively i'm not gonna say no names because they my brothers like they still a part of it they, i love them they and they they we, we we had to talk it through but they was like dang so you saying we ain't a part we ain't a part of the decision i ain't saying that it's just some stuff you don't need a vote on mm-hmm. some some stuff you do we'll bring it to you when we need it for example zion uh and i'll let you continue the flyers yeah we, we don't gotta give them eight options yeah. <laughs> Here's the flyer. What do you think? Right? That's the difference. It's like instead of going through your thoughts with them, establish your thoughts and then say, This is what I came up with. What do you guys think? That's right. that's what I was uh doing, but but because at the end of the day, you know, AC the future comments, that's my family. Like I love everybody in I'm gonna close my door. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep going. So you know, when I when I'm in, I'm like, okay, they're gonna help me because my mind is on a million. Let me talk to all these people. But then when I when I when it happened, I was like, whoa, this is a lot. And then then when Bryce had texted me, I was like, this makes more sense. And then we uh condensed it down. But then again, I still feel like and nothing if, to the if the people in the uh that was in the committee, like the real like the the small committee, if they see this, nothing against y'all, like y'all were great. I feel like if we had more adults with more experience, like the uh, the people that paid for the gift cards, I'm gonna put them on the committee because they actually really wanted to help. And I feel and with they experience. Them, yeah, yep. they have a whole lot of experience. So I feel like it would be better because we, it was just a bunch of people in, the, in that group chat that really didn't know what to do and was all going through it together. Now I hope that they learned something from being on the committee, but you know that's what, that's my thing and. Um, yeah. yeah. Also, I mean, I, oh, go ahead. Okay, I was. You go first. No, I, I wasn't even. I wasn't even really gonna say nothing. I was just gonna say I. I, I feel. I feel what you're saying with with everything that you just said about the planning committee as a whole. And I was just gonna say AC's perspective. Uh, I think any event that we do the first time, you know, until this doesn't work, this is the plan. The first time. I would like less adults and more students to be on the planning committee. So more people can understand what the planning committee looks like. Mm-hmm. And then moving forward, now we're like, okay, let's get more adults and less teenagers, right? Uh, so whatever the next event is, same thing. What, are, what did I, I tell look- you? I told you like, what, six six kids, six teens, and like two adults or something like that. Yeah, like so, four, like eight people total, six kids, two adults. Yeah, so that'll, that'll, that'll probably be what it is. And then moving forward now, for everybody that doesn't know, so now Limitless Dreams is Zayas, right? We don't want ownership. Mm-hmm. And it's yeah. not it's not 
it's a great event. I would love to have ownership of that. But it's Zaya. So Zaya has that for the rest of her life. So when she writes a resume or when it, she needs to put experience, she's not putting, I was a part of Always Climbing Projects, Limitless Dreams. She says, mm-hmm. planned, coordinated, hosted, yeah. Limitless Dreams yeah. through Always exactly. Climbing Projects. Okay. That's the difference. You can say you through brought us because we hosted You brought it, right? that to us. Yep. But, man, I, I just think it's powerful when they can own something, right? It's not an LLC, yeah. but it could be, right? It's theirs. Like, we shoot. We just right. happen to host it. Man, you I think if you do that every year, you got, let's say Zaya c- continues to give back to Akron. Uh, and let's say, uh, I don't think she wants to do it anymore, Zaya. So I'm going to just say, you know who, let's say, you know who wanted to do that poetry night and it was a hit, right? I, that's just, I thought it was a great idea. So I'm still in love with it. But like, so now you got not always climate projects, Limitless Dreams and always climate projects, poetry night. It's Zaya West's Limitless Dreams. It's so and so's poetry night. And like, well, yeah, we hosted it the first time, but that's just a part of a future climbers program. Our, our goal is to help y'all ignite these things. But then it's like, yeah. I don't want it no more. You guys got it. Like, that's yours. Yeah. Limitless Dreams is yours. I'm glad. Hey. I'm, and, and, and again, from the credit standpoint, I don't need it, but it's a blessing for me to be able to have designed the logo to a major first flyer, right? To have made the same phone call as you did. That's cool. It's a good experience for me too. And it's it feels good to know that I helped you, but you have that logo for life. That's dope. Like, yeah. You always That's got a, that. Oh, it's fire. First of all, it is fire. From from from, hey, the chef's, fire. From, the, from the chef's perspective, right? Chefs always love their favorite part of the food. Chef's perspective. I'm gonna say it again. Is the moon. And the sun, the I love it. I love that's it. hard. Love it. That's, that's just hard. that's just the chef's chef special. But I don't think nobody, I don't think nobody noticed that either, except they us. They did. Yeah, it's just it's like hard. a rapper when he say something hard, and they be like, like "Let that sink in." Let that sink in. You're not hearing. No, was, but what question thing, did you have, Joe? No, I was going to just make make a make a quick statement, just talking about the the culture and the and the, and the standard that we're trying to set within Akron, and the I, I hope that. Everyone in Akron and, and around that sees this, you know, show get to look on our page and see what we're about and and see uh, exactly what Zaya created. Um, I'm sure we're gonna have a bunch of content up uh, about Limitless Dreams, um, but having extreme ownership on an event like that for Zaya and for her, her peers to work with her, be in a committee with her, and also have ownership of that as well, and know that they don't want to let their her their sister down um, is important versus having a bunch of adults running the running the show. And then it's like, are we doing another uh, volunteer opportunity? Whereas now, like you said, plenty of those. I can now capitalize off of this and like down the line, she, she, she do limitless dreams, whatever, go to college, whatever she want to do, and maybe she don't do limitless dreams for a year, or maybe she does. Now she can build off of that. You know how great of a feeling it is for us to see that, but we don't want any part of that. We just want to be able to link generations, put you with the right people to see your dreams come true. Which is why it's it's properly suited that limitless dreams would be the name of your first event. Because I feel like whatever you want to do in the, in the Always Climbing Project is limitless and dream as big as you want to be. How about though? Because I didn't even want that name. Oh, oh no. <laughs> she was sick. She was sick. We voted on that name. The whole group and it's cats. Hard. Shout out to cats. They came and helped too uh, on the same on the day of the event. But they were actually at our meeting that day and they stay, stuck around to check us out. So they were part of the voting process too. Man, we had like eight names. She was sick, yeah, Limitless Dreams. <laughs> Probably more than eight, honestly. But she it was, was sick. Sick. sick that day one. I that was day so one. bad. Sick. You ain't sick now. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, my what was it supposed to be called? I wanted it to be Abilities and Action. <laughs> abilities and Action is weak. Now that I think about <laughs> it. <laughs> like, think about it. Think about Double it. Double A. No, it's perfect. Like, especially because, like, it's limitless. Like you don't got. It can be anything. You don't got to just do like. Yeah. You know. I mean, yeah, it's it perfect works. with the initiative too. It's perfect. Everything. It's just. It's perfect. Yeah. Like, and that's that's the that that is a lesson for us all. You know. Yeah. It's it's all about everyone's input, right? It's all about that democracy piece. Because if it was just your show, abilities of action, it would have been right. And there's nothing wrong with that. It would have been cool too. But I couldn't even imagine that on a shirt. So when you allow other people to vote, sometimes you may not like the answer, but in the end, it might be better. Um, I think that's true. That's I just learned something. That's a, I didn't even think about it from that perspective. That's a lesson for us all to learn. Like 
you know, we was at Texas Row House afterwards. Uh, <laughs> you That's know, I like doing this, Zaya. So just so you know, two things I like doing um, that I took from football games specifically. One is dumb, but I have to say it. Halftime of football games as I coach, I have to eat because I ate during football when I played. Uh, they always provided food at halftime. I have to eat. So I always go get a hot dog or a hamburger from the concessions. That's one thing. But another thing is after games, I always sat with my family and reflected on the game. Uh, I have, it's, just, it's, it's always related to food. I just, I don't know why. Uh, so, so after that, it was, you know, I'm tired. I actually made myself sick from that event, but I was just tired, you know, didn't drink no water. I said, man, I need some food. Let's all go get some food and talk about the day. So that's what we did. You saw me on getting some rolls. She messed with me on my story, like, let me get some rolls. But we was actually talking. <laughs> and even that that conversation, I didn't agree with everything some people were saying, but I had to listen to it, right? I didn't, yeah. some, some stuff I completely didn't agree, but I never disrespected it. It's just like, okay, that's how you feel. Like, I feel differently, but okay. And if we were to vote, that's what it would have been, right? Uh, so I think that's a lesson that we can all learn for sure. Yeah. yeah. Any and other questions, Jovan? I got. I just got one. I got one more, and then we're gonna do our takeaways. So yeah, uh, Zai, were you about to say something? I didn't want to cut you off. Phone calls, like I don't think we ever talked about doing the phone calls. And it was funny. Because I was going to Columbus because my dad was on a business trip. And I texted Bryce. I said, I don't know if I could do these phone calls. He said, you better wake up early in the morning and call him in your hotel. See, you know what? Not to let Bryce down. I woke up at 9 o'clock, started calling them vendors at 9.30, irritated my mom and woke her up. Like I, was, I told her about like, sacrifice. Sometimes you got to do it. Yeah. After that, I was like, okay, it's go time. Like, like, let's get everything done. Yeah. I, I told her what I told Zaya to fill everybody in. Time was cl- cl- clicking at this time, at this point, and uh, you ha- it, it's it's very inconvenient. You know, even as the executive director of AC, I inconvenience everybody around me, even my wife sometimes. But you have to do it. If you don't, it doesn't get done. That's the mm-hmm. problem with being a leader. If if you're just another worker, it's somebody else's job. It, you throw it on your boss at, at a, at, as a counselor or a teacher. If I don't show up and no subs come, you know who's covering that class? The principal, because education has to happen. The show must go on. Yeah. If the custodian is out sick and we can't replace with nobody, who's cleaning up the throw up? Teachers are not. I'm not. My principal will. Uh, and it's a, a last example. Kids every day, their parents don't come pick them up. When the clock hits four o'clock, I'm off work. When the principal, when the clock hits four thirty, the principal's off work. But if it's still a kid in the in the school, she has to stay and she has to figure out where is mom or dad. So to translate that, when you run in a, an event or running a company, business, nonprofit, whatever it is, if nobody else does it, it's not getting done. So you have to do it. So. That's what I was trying to instill on Zaya. Like, shoot, I'm busy too. I'm making phone calls too. I'm busy. She told me, I'm about to go to Columbus. Well, I would be, hey, I was in Austin and I was making phone calls. So I know you could make some phone calls. So that was cool that you took that challenge on and did it. So shoot, look at this. Just look at the event. Like I told her, I told her, she said, well, this is really tomorrow. I said, look at God. That's all I'm going to say. Look at God. Right. We ain't a a religious nonprofit. Profit. (laughs) But man, we got faith in it always. But the the like the connection that happened was like and what Bryce was telling me, like it really helped, even on a religious standpoint, because I am. So it taught me how to not only trust you or trust other adults, but also trust God. Like we didn't know we didn't have the answers to half the stuff people was telling us. But you know, we said in God's timing, because it didn't work. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, you'll never have answers to everything. Yeah. Yep. And uh, a lot of it is learning on the fly and and, and having faith and understanding your vision that it's going to come to fruition. Uh, I want to do takeaways a little bit differently for this episode and do a takeaway, of course, of uh, the event as a whole. Um, I just want to know at what point in the process or even the event during the event, did you know, like, this is happening? This is a success. 
and then just how you felt after leaving that event. Why don't you go first, Joe, since this is a takeaway. I'll go second. We'll finish with Zai. Okay. So for me, uh, of course, just hearing about the event and, and knowing about the process that went on, once I actually seen them dope shirts, I'm like, oh, we still dreaming. We 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 going. Like, which is why I did the the you know the 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 story, whatever. But once I seen that and I saw everybody gathering, all the climbers in the shirt, I'm like, this is really happening. And this is everything that we talked about, Bryce, as far as like wanting the kids to do this and take initiative and, and take ownership and, and build something of their own. It's like this is really something that's gonna happen. It's gonna happen every year. And hopefully more and more students will be more and more students that's gonna come out of this having their own event that they've created but just seeing that was just very eye-opening and again it's, it's it's challenging for me sometimes because it's I'm, I'm away from the work at times being at in, in state college in pennsylvania um so seeing stuff like that it just like lights up a whole another fire in my heart it's like oh it's like you know what i'm saying it's like zaya is really doing this and then leaving the event i just was so proud um because i knew that you were going to kill it i have so much faith in you um, and I, I told you from the first time I met you, I knew you were such a strong leader and that I knew you were going to do great things. And this is just one of the many great things. So, uh, seeing you talk to the mayor, the cost, the interviews that you did and, and getting to interact with the families. I'm like, this is a special person that they're getting, uh, to, to, to meet, um, and interact with. And that was like my biggest takeaway is like, I know we have so many more people that's also in this program, just like you. My takeaway. All right. I, I have to, I have to go right into it. Cause I'm gonna forget. You saying all that, Joe, but it's because she was walking in her purpose, right? Yep. And when we walk in our purpose, we move a little different. If I told Zaya, hey, Zaya, you're a leader. I'm going to have you host this robot competition event. She would have been, <laughs> hi. Yeah. Like, okay. Like, hey, I don't know nothing you, about enjoying, you enjoying the event? But because she was walking at her purpose, it was like, hey, how y'all doing? Welcome, blah, blah, blah. Because her passion and her purpose was there. She was walking in her purpose every step. Um, so that's why, shoot, that's why I got, that's that's why I got haters to this day. <laughs> that's why I got haters <laughs> to this day. Because every job that I do, I'm walking in my purpose. Counselor, AC, coach, it don't matter. I'm walking in my purpose. So I'm always have haters. And you're going to have haters too, so I just be like that. Uh, but you got a lot more support than you do haters when you walk in your purpose. So, uh, but that's not my takeaway. My takeaway is, Jovan, what's what's been my theme, bro? I done called you the past two days. What's been my theme of life the past couple of days? Let me see if you know it. It's one word. Theme of what? Uh, authentic. Transparency. Transparent. Transparency. I've been, I mean, yo, I've been, I've been really focusing on being transparent. Uh, not really sugarcoating nothing, which I never really fully did, but. You know, we all do that. And I'm actually trying to eliminate that as a whole, whether it tarnishes relationship or not. I don't know if it's even a mature decision to do, uh, to be honest with y'all. That's even transparent in itself. But uh, I'm just been, I'm just trying to be more transparent. So I'm going to say this. When did I know that the event was popping? Honestly, not until lunchtime. Because... Y'all got to understand, when I tell y'all this was my first event too, but I had to not act like it wasn't, but just stay cool, calm, and collected because I knew that it was going to be a good event because of the preparation that I've had from other events. I was battling between did I miss anything or not the whole day, even in the morning. I was up at 2 a.m. and I had to type some stuff. 2 a.m. I went to sleep, woke up at like 2, 3 in the morning. I'm like, oh, I forgot about this. I ain't tell Zaya about these things, right? I, I wanted her to just focus on her jobs and I was going to handle all the background stuff. Um, yep. I'm like, dang, I ain't even do this. I ain't do that. I ain't make turkey, ham, and uh, veggie signs for people to be able to distinguish the difference. I'm like, dang, let me go to my notes. It's three in the morning. So then I get up early in the morning the next day, sleepy, right? Having to hurry up, go print some stuff. Can't find a janitor. I got Zaya and Jalen helping out with the shirts. All of it's fresh for me too, right? I know how to do it, but it's like it's like it's like going to the gun range, and then all of a sudden you a, a, a police officer, a soldier, any type of person that uses a firearm is like, dang, I really got to use this now. Like I didn't prepare 
But now it's like, am I actually ready? Like, are we actually ready to really do this event? Like, I'm 26. You don't do this stuff at 26. You definitely don't do it at 16. So that's why you get so much credit, Zaya. <laughs> but you don't, to be honest, Zaya, you don't know this, but you don't do this type stuff at 26. Okay. My 26-year-old <laughs> peers are focused on themselves. Your 20s are supposed to be you focus on yourself. You're not supposed to start a nonprofit. Look at any other nonprofit. They're old. No, nothing against them. They're retired. And they finally, they finally get to live out their purpose, which is to give back to the youth. I choose to give back to my purpose and focus on my purpose at this age. You don't see that, right? Because you don't have as much experience. So with all of that being said, just being transparent, I was not nervous because I just never been a nervous type dude, but I felt pressure. I did feel it. It was felt all the way till probably lunch. And after lunch, I kind of was like, oh, okay, look at all these people. Ooh. This is crazy. Like, that's when it hit that's me. got that pizza. <laughs> I was killing that people. I was like, <laughs> but, but, but man, like, I'm serious. Long takeaway, but just being real, like, that, like that's when I sat back. The whole other time, I'm like, bro, I got to go do this. I got to go do that. Oh, my God. It's 11. It's 10.50. It's 10.57. I'm not ready to go talk to these people in the gym. I still got to do this, 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 this. But what did I do? I went to the gym. Got to act like, hey, you got to you got act like it's, it's, oh, it's going good. It's all good. I still had so much to do. So I did a little speech, sent them on their way. Now I got people, my football players like, yo, coach, can you open up the locker room? I'm like, Bruh. So I really didn't understand or feel that it was going good until lunch. And then it, it hit me like, no, nah, this has been going real good. This actually been a dope day. So yeah. that's my answer. Yeah. Zaya, your turn. All right. Um, when did I feel that it was real? So I had two things. To be honest, not even going to lie, it doesn't, it feel real, but it don't, like, I don't feel the, the attention that everyone's giving it. Like, teachers and everybody still talking to me about it t- t- today. A teacher, uh, a teacher walked into my physics class. Was like, do you know who this girl is? I'm like, she's like, why are you wearing a film? I'm like, well, you know, it's just like, okay, it happened. She was like, no, and she she was like, p- pulled up the video. She emailing me, everybody emailing me. So it doesn't feel real. It feels real, but I don't feel the attention that everyone's giving it. But um, when I um, when I kind of first got a glimpse is when I went out to outside for the first time when the people were there. Outside so was the, lit. Outside, mm-hmm. outside was the best. When I went outside for the first time, I mean, everybody came in. I'm saying hi to all the families, you know, but I'm still like my head on the swivel. My head was on the swivel all morning. Like Javon said, like it was, it was a lot going on. So I went outside and I was like, I saw a track. It was the first thing. Kid with a uh, Wesley. Y'all remember Wesley? He had a walker. Yeah, Wesley. Yep. Came, he's climbing over a hurdle, doing a race. <laughs> Brought tears to my eyes. Like he's doing this, and I'm the one that can back it up. Like this is yeah. this is my purpose. Like this is like you said, y'all. What would he have been doing on a Sunday if you didn't have that event? Exactly. Um, no, okay, three. That's three. So the next one was meeting Eric. Eric is very high functioning, you know, high functioning autism. He's on the spectrum. Meeting him, he was playing soccer with with a soccer team and his friends. And I remember his mom telling him, he's like, I've never seen him smile this much about sports. I've never seen this fire in him. I'm like, yo, what? This is real. And then my last one, this is my favorite. His name is, his, they're a set of twins, Nolan and Claire. I met, I talked, that their mom was the one who was like, you're a, you're a kid. I text, I text Nolan to this day. I literally texted him today. Meeting them and seeing the difference. So Nolan's, they're both on the spectrum. But Nolan's low function, so he's very social. He be texting me. He's like, "Hey, how are you?" Blah, blah. But Claire, she's very high function. She doesn't talk. She's very to herself. I mean, seeing them, seeing all the families, like knowing that 
because of my story, I got to bless people how I wanted to be blessed when it first happened. When, yeah. you know, six years ago, when we didn't have the answers. And a lot of things that shocked me is that some of these people did not have the answers either. They was like, well, we, the doctors say we feel, we think nobody had the answer. So it was like, I got, I got to be, I got to be that person I always wanted to be. And I felt that glimpse of what I could be for like five hours. Yep. Afterwards, it was really just a, who, okay. The pressure is gone. It happened. We did it. Now I can get a little, a little relaxed, but we, we plan it for next year. Right. You know? Right. And then and that, just, and that part of it is just being, keeping those kinds of connections. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sending out emails and saying that you do plan on working with them next year. Yeah. And then, you know, the thing that I love most is that everyone that was involved, the soccer, the the, the soccer team, the track team, football team, everyone, AC, just seeing their feedback and telling them, telling me how they felt and how they were impacted by it afterwards. You know, people tell me they're proud of me, teachers talking about it, all that other stuff. It feels amazing. You know, even though I don't really can, I don't really interpret like the hype about it. But at the end of the day, it still was a beautiful event. Um, when I kind of got real, when it kind of got real afterwards, when I talked to my parents about it and hearing how proud they were of me, like I was crying. Cause I was like, dang, like. That's dope. You know, it's dope. So Limitless Dreams itself, I can see, I can see it going real far. And, you know. Y'all know, I, I think big. Think big or go home. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. down the line, it's gonna you're going to hear Limitless Dreams everywhere. I got two comments before we close. Two things. One is uh, a positive comment, and one is like a neutral slash negative, I guess, comment. Positive first. Uh, here's the cool thing, Joe. You know what's going to happen next year? It's gonna be a news article okay. about a seventeen-year-old hosting an event. <laughs> <laughs> That's still crazy. Yeah. And then you know what's even crazier? A 18, 19, 20, 19. 21, 22, 23 year old is still crazy. 24, then, 25, it's like yeah. uh, that's crazy, but it ain't crazy, crazy. But uh but you gotta think about it, it might be turning to something else. We never know. Right. By that that time at that point, and it's gonna be a whole it's gonna be a whole other article out. So so that's my first yeah. comment. But here's the thing, Zaya. Here's 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 another part. Uh, again, transparent. Literally, I would do it. I want to do it again. So please, if you need me, please let me do it again next year. Uh, but here's the thing I will say. I didn't have that same experience that both of y'all had with the event. Because I was doing all the background stuff. And I was the one. I, I, I'm telling you, I didn't drink water. I, I, got, I made myself sick. How did that speaker get into the cafeteria? You know what I'm saying? It's little stuff like that. You're always enjoying your time. Well, that's sure. cool. That's cool. I saw you smiling, Joe. I couldn't do that. I was like, oh, was that? oh I got to go here. I got to go here. I know. Um, having had, so, so the point to that, that's why I said it's kind of neutral. <laughs> I don't mind doing that again, but I think an even better idea is like you said, get more adults involved because I couldn't ask no kid to do that. So yeah. get more adults yeah. involved where we all a team, you know, who else didn't get a chance to enjoy limitless dreams. I'm recognizing it. Right. A couple other adults, but somebody that I really thought about was Jalen, my cousin. He was in the cafeteria, the whole event. Yeah. He a hooper. He ain't even get to, he ain't get to take one shot. Meanwhile, Ryan was doing a whole line dance. So it's like allocating the, the jobs and also being able to relieve people from those jobs is yeah. important. Cause I was never relieved. Jalen was never relieved. My people at the front for registration were never relieved. I told them they was going to be done by one o'clock. They stayed till the end because they they felt that I was wrong in that situation. So them as being an adult, they was like, "Yeah, I ain't. I'm not leaving. Like I'm gonna make sure that this table is all right." Uh, nobody was was there to uh, you know, set up lunch. So Jalen had to take that role. Somebody had to go order. Somebody had to think about breakfast. I had to order that. Um, yeah, I remember my that. day, my day was hectic. My day was hectic. So I didn't get a chance yeah. to experience it. However, 
I lived vicariously through the experiences that I did see as I was freaking running like a banshee. Seriously, like I was able to be mindful mm-hmm. enough to soak it in. I'm thankful for that because I got to experience it through other people. Like I would see, uh, what's that girl's name? Talia, Talia. Uh, yeah. I saw her. I saw her um, doing doing uh, the golf. That was cool, right? Yeah. I was able to see that, right? Uh, I was able to see somebody hit somebody in the dunk tank real quick, all right? And I gotta, I gotta keep going. I gotta move on. Make sure everybody's where they're supposed to be. And I was responsible for football team as well. Coach Mitchell couldn't be there. Yeah. And Coach Elkins had to do wrestling. So I had to do football as well. I, literally, I was the coach for football. So I'm like, dang, I'm really all over the place. So uh, it's good to hear that you didn't have that same experience because I really, I was really trying to keep all of that type stuff that you shouldn't be focused on as a 16-year-old away from you. But the reason I say that is because next year, unless you ask me to do it, somebody going to have to do it. I don't mind doing it again. I really don't. Like, I kind of enjoyed it. And especially now that it, it'll be your event solely and we'll just be partners or we can host it again. Uh, however you want to do it. I don't mind volunteering for the rest of the, the it's eternity. And I would love to do that role where I just make sure you're good, right? Be your assistant. That'd be cool. So just let me know. I got you. Uh, any last comments? I do no, want to think. Funniest moment at the event was when we brought out them gift cards. And I will say this to Jovan for the rest of my life. <laughs> we brought out them gift cards. I did not did, know. He did not know. So he looked at me as I'm saying, $100 Amazon. I'm over here. Of, I'm recording. He's recording. Listen, I'm over here recording. I'm like, <laughs> like right. I, I said, yo, you, I said, I'm the finance guy. You ain't telling me. Yeah, Joe, I, no I do idea. be on. He be checking me sometimes. I'll be like, Joe, I went ahead and got us. I got us this and that. He'd be like, bro, what are you doing? So you, I can see you <laughs> doing that. That's funny. I was like, whoa, whoa. And then we found more gift cards. I mean, like the people, the people that donated that, I love them so much. And you know, they and, and even in that. I thought that was like huge. It was like we should have, we could have done more. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's I, love. I was like, Whoa. That's love. They're good people. They're good people. They're amazing people. I love them. Shout out to the Wentz Family Foundation. Those are the people that donated yeah. the gift cards and the gifts. Um, uh, I love everyone who's a part of it. Heather Wentz, Lisa. Time um, for the week. Boom. <laughs> boom. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, I mean, ain't no angel no climber of the week. Um, is there? So I definitely do love them so much with all of my heart. And they know they have a special place in my heart. And that's that's my last comment. But, yeah. And it's uh, and then as we close out, just again, a shout out to all everybody who helped uh, make this event possible. Um, the countless work of you two to do the, the, the legwork of it all and to see it all come to fruition. And for myself to be able to drive down and experience it all with a, a tremendous uh, feeling and some I'm, I'm grateful to be a part of. Um, as well as everybody who was who was at the event. Um, and this concludes a, another wonderful episode, uh, Limitless Dreams episode. Uh, for all the viewers, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, keep climbing. Period. Run it back to run back Limitless Dreams next year. See y'all there. They be like, be bro, you nice. I messed around, fell in love with the mind. It's really no cabin when I'm in the booth. So I'm telling the devil, no sin in the night. I can never forget like I'm riding a bike. Don't get mad at me because I like what I like. Just know I get money, I do it so humbly. When I go spending, I never think twice. Some of y'all, man, they don't win it. So I had to buckle down and I had to keep grinning. Only Lord knows I ain't perfect, I be sinning. So I keep my head down because I'm